That never gets old. Okay. So multiplying polynomials is the same as distributive property, except it's a distributive property party. It goes like this. So if you could please write the following. So we're going to build onto this problem. Okay, who can distribute this? Yes? 5x plus 20. 5x plus 20. Good. That was a brief intro on distributive property. Okay. Next problem. We're going to do the same thing. Except allow for a little space. All right, I'll show you what I mean. Out of here. So I know there's space here, but we're going to pretend there's no space, and we're going to do distributive property again. So imagine like there's no space. Do you have a good imagination? Okay. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Volunteer to distribute to this. Yes. X squared. Yeah. Um, plus four x. X squared plus four x. Correct. X squared plus four x. Good. Questions on this? Distributed. So if you claim to have a good imagination, write the following next to your x. Okay. The following next to your x. And with your strong imaginations, pretend that the x is no longer there, and we're simply looking at 6 times x squared. Okay. Who can distribute this one out, please? 6x plus 24. 6x plus 24, correct. Writing that in. Okay. So in other words, we distributed the first x, as in x times x, and then x times 4, that gave us those two. Then we distributed the 6, that's 6x six plus 24. So this is the type of problems we're going to be working with today. All right, can these be combined in any way? Simplification? Yes. yes. What's it going to be? Yes? x squared plus 10x <laughs> plus 24. Right x squared plus 10x plus 24. So, <laughs> questions on that? That's foiling, all right? The reason they call it foil is the following. You multiply the first terms. There it is, that's f. Write that here. You can even write it here if you like, f. Then you multiply the outer terms. That's here. O. Anyone know what I is? Yes, Inner. Yeah. Inner. So there, those are the inside terms. Notice six and x are both on the inside. So multiply those two. That's I. And finally, L stands for yes. Last. Last. Good. So that's six and four are both the last terms in these two sequences, and that gives us twenty-four. And here's a big hint, the O and the I usually will combine, like they do here. The O and the I combine to make 10x. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, yeah, I did sing just now. X minus two, as well, right? Why not? Yeah. Okay, using your vast knowledge, and your strong imaginations as we did above, using the FOIL method, multiply these two polynomials. Right? So what's good is that you're doing it and anyone at home is doing this, so we can actually work together, get the extreme feeling. Yeah. I, oh, I'm in the way. <laughs>
Okay, volunteer to distribute this first X, meaning F and O. Yes, please. Um, it'll be X squared. X squared is X times X. Plus 4X. Plus 4X. That is achieved by multiplying X by 4. Good. Okay. O, I was done, excuse me. I and L. I and L. Please. I, so that's inner, so... Um, negative and x, and that's negative 2x. Minus 2x. And um, then the last, which is um, negative 2 and 4. So that's, um, you multiply them, and that's negative 8, so minus 8. Minus 8. And don't be afraid to speak up. You're right, be proud. I'm right. Okay, good job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Catch on fast. Okay. So the last step is to simplify the middle two terms, and what are they? Yeah. x squared plus um, 2x minus 8. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to find some patterns about when you're multiplying these two. Sometimes magical things happen a lot in math. Let's do that now. Okay? Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Desert. Like a chorus. Okay, what if you have special case? A special case, kind of like my. I know. Yeah. I'm using that four a lot today. For some reason, four just speaks to me. Question. Does it always have an X squared? No. So you notice that the x times x will be x squared. It won't always be that. It's first times first. So as we start, that's what we're doing. Maybe the last problem, we can slide that in. Oakley dokely neighbors! <laughs> Volunteer to take it through. Yeah, loud, loud. Okay, um, I did x plus x. x times x. x times x, which yeah. is x squared. x squared. And then x times 4, which is 4x. 4x. And then negative 4 times x, which is negative 4x. Negative 4x. And then negative 4 times positive 4. Or, yeah. Negative 4 times positive 4, yes. Which is um, 16, negative 16. Negative 16. Good. Any simplification possible? Yes. Yes. Middle two terms. What happens to them? 4x minus 4x is 0. Zero. Four x minus four x is zero, leaving us with what? X squared minus sixteen. Correct. X sixteen. Okay. If you like patterns, both in life and maybe your clothing, I'm going to ask you to look for a pattern after this next problem. Are you ready to find the pattern? <laughs> not, not in your clothes. And the math. Okay. Plus eight. Okay, please foil again, okay, keep your food fresh. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Huh? Yes, thank you, yeah, you can even use foil or saran wrap, foil is recyclable. <laughs> you can recycle foil, is all I'm saying. Unless it's oily. <laughs> so I read that online. You can't recycle if it's inundated with oil. Yeah. Okay. Again, we need a volunteer to walk us through this, please. Yes, loud. Okay. X squared. X squared. Um, minus eight x. Minus eight x. Yes. Plus eight x. Plus eight x. Minus sixty four. Minus sixty four. Multiplying. Mm -hmm. Cancellation. Um, x. Well, we cancel out the 8x and 8x, so that's going to be 8x uh, squared minus 64. Correct. These cancel. So that's x squared minus 64. Who can see the pattern if I don't stay in the oh, way? I can. I can. What's the pattern? The pattern is x squared and um, a term. What's the relationship between this problem and this answer? Please, in the back. Yes. 
Oh, Is your hand up? Something cancels. Uh, I was going to say something else. You're going to say something else? Oh. Okay. What's the pattern? The O and the I cancel out. The O and the I, in this case, cancel out, leaving the first and the last. Oh. And the L. So. so you do basically a first term squared minus. So. You're going to say that? Yeah. Say it loud. Third. Minus. Minus. Second, second term squared. squared. In other words, <laughs> yes, question? Wait, um, is it always minus? Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Question. Like, why is it minus 64 or why is it minus 16? Because it's always minus. I'll tell you why. Because what. if there's one subtraction sign and one plus sign and one plus sign, like the subtraction is like. Yeah, because the last two terms will be a positive times a negative, and a positive times a negative. It happened here as well. Will always lead to a negative number no, no, no. at the end. Yes. But how can you like trust that that it'll always like like what if it's good plus there. Okay, this is, how to, this is how to recognize these type of problems. Here we go. So, this is a new FOIL problem, and what we're going to do is we're going to create the similar situation here. So we need the first two to be the same. Here they go. And then we need the second two to be the same. Pick a number. Three. Three. Uh, three, fine. That's right. So three and three, and we need the signs to be one plus, plus, plus one plus negative. Plus minus. Does it matter? It doesn't matter if it's minus plus or plus minus. You can see that here. Okay. Yeah. So let's go plus minus. If you see a situation like this, foiling is not necessary. We can go straight to the answer. First term squared would be x squared. X squared. Bless you. Nine. Minus, minus, nine. Minus, 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 second term squared, nine. You can do any problem like this. Cheek, check. Yes? Will the x ever be negative? The front terms? Yeah. The front terms should not be. Uh, Generally, they're not. They can. If it was negative here and positive here, but it wouldn't fit this formula. Okay. Yes? Does this only work if the terms are both the same for the first and second? Exactly. Only works. Okay. Wait, so, uh, but couldn't I also, wait, so even let's say like it was like x plus 3, and then the second term was x minus 4, I couldn't do x squared, and I couldn't do 3 times No, four. yeah, no, you'd have to do what we did at the beginning of today, okay. foiling. Okay. So this you can do easily. Watch this. Okay? Question? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so basically if, um, like the two second numbers are exactly the same. Correct. Then you just multiply the two, and it's like that format, and it's x yeah. to the first term squared minus second term squared. But that's only if it's the same exact number. Only if the first terms are the same and the second terms are the same. Okay. Let's say it was like x plus ten, and then in the other parentheses it was also x plus ten. Then you'd foil. You would have to. You'd foil. foil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Which we're technically doing here, but we're just skipping this OI term. So what's this answer? Anyone? Oh. Go. Sorry. X squared minus 100. X squared minus 100. Did you do that by doing first term squared minus second term squared? Okay. Yes. Then it's going to get a little challenging now. Okay. What is the first term? Yes? No, what is the first term? 2x. Two 2x. Two yeah. You went to the answer and it's correct. Mm -hmm. So the first term is 2x. What is... What is the second term? 5 Yes, 5 plus minus, minus plus. So now, based on what we said before, the answer will be first term squared minus second term squared, because 2x is the same, 5 is the same, plus minus. 4x squared minus Louder! 4x squared minus 25! Wow, you're so happy! I'm going to do it in blue. That's special. <laughs> First term squared, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Second term squared is 5 times 5 is 25. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, class. Yay, math? Yay, math! Okay, you can cut it. Cut it. Cut it.